everyone. Today I'm going to do something very different than normal. Normally I am working on miniature and on clay or with clay. Um, but we just went by the hobby store today and I found these two boxes of needle felting. And I have some needle felting uh, in the first place at the side here. I have something I got for Christmas for, from my husband. Um, but uh, these two were on sale, so I got them. We are not going to do this one today, uh, so I will put that to the side and I will come back to this one if you want to see me uh, work on this one. Um, I really wanted this one because it looks uh, easy enough. So we have sex eggs, the work uh, piece and some wool and a needle and some yarn for hanging these, some thread. They look quite easy and I really want to uh, be able to do this needle felting because um, I think it looks so neat, especially these girls here. I'm looking forward to try these out. But I was thinking if I can make these in the real size, I might also be able to make them a tiny bit smaller so I could use them for the dollhouse and that could actually be really really fun to make these for the dollhouses maybe some teddy bears and stuff like that uh, with this needle felting um, so I'm going to open this one and then I will make a tiny break where I read uh, the description, the how to, if there is a such thing in this one and then I will go to voiceover after that so that I can wear my mask and work without uh, having a asthma attack from it. Let's see what's in here. So we have these really, really pretty colors of uh, wool. And I like that they are in the back, so it's not a problem. Six eggs and the work thing here, surface. Let's take that one out. The eggs can stay in there. So this foam piece for the uh, needles to poke into. A tiny needle here. I think that is to be able to hang the uh, done eggs up. And then of course the thread. Uh, I do have some needles here that I got for Christmas. And these needles has a handle, so I got the handles and the needles, so they are a little more easy to control. So I'm going to use these instead of the one that's in here, but it's always good to have a spare one. Um, if anyone knows uh, if there is a size difference in these needles, I've seen you can get them with two, three or four needles on. But does anyone know if there is a size difference in these? Actually, this one looks a little more finer than this one. But I'm not sure about that. But if anyone need know anything about uh, needle felting, please let me know. Because um, I'm just going to enjoy myself. Try out making a, try to make an egg like this. And then um, I will try the ladies here someday soon. If you want me to do that on camera, please let me know. Um, but it looks very easy from right here. I'm going to try to make something else than dots on mine. But I'm going to end right here, read uh, the how to. So I will take a look at this and then I will come back and we will see what I can so I am switching to voice over here because then I can speed up this video a bit so it's not taking the whole day for you to watch. First I unrolled some of this wool so that I had the colors ready that I wanted to, found the needle that I wanted to use and then I took a piece of the wool and I just started creating something. I'm not sure that I'm doing this right so if somebody uh, knows how to do this right could tell me that would be really awesome um, but I actually think my result got 
really good but let's uh, wait with that till the end of this video now I'm just tapping this poor little egg again and again and again and taking some more wool and stepping it even more uh, just like you see here let's put on some music and just watch what I'm doing I decided to make polka dots on this egg anyway, so I'm just taking a tiny bit of wool and poking it in around the middle where I want the dot to be and then I'm just working it into the dot and working it into the egg. At this point I have been working a lot with this egg, so uh, the inside of this uh, started to um, kind of crash under my fingers when I was uh, holding firmly onto the egg so that I wouldn't poke myself with this needle um, I could feel that it shifted the shape on the inside um, it really also did get a lot of poking here, a lot of hole into the styrofoam so um, I think it's not that good a medium to do this on in the length um, but now I know, so now I will watch it 
uh, on the other eggs that I'm doing. So the more you work with the egg, the lighter you need to hold on to it. I took the string in the little bag and I unwrapped it. And I am making sure that I have six equal strings when I'm cutting this up. So I'm just laying it so that fits for me and cutting it off. So I have six equal strings and I'm going to tie a tiny knot here on the end of one of these. I'm sorry that I went out of frame here for a second but I took a tiny piece of purple uh, wool and placed it over the string where I put uh, the knot and then I'm just uh, poking this purple into the egg uh, on both sides of the string like you saw me do there um, and making a tiny tiny bit of a spot on the top there then I'm just going to poke it here and there to make sure it's all secure and nicely flat where I want it to be and that's all there is for this Easter egg I wish you a happy Easter and I will see you next week thank you for watching and happy crafting